My name is Rebecca, and I'm here to tell you about how structural biology is helping in the fight against cancer. Taspase 1 is an enzyme overexpressed in many primary human cancers, such as glioblastoma. By activating substrates such as mixed lineage leukemia 1, genes associated with cancer cell proliferation and invasion are upregulated. Loss of Taspase 1 activity has been shown to disrupt proliferation of human cancer cells in vitro and in mouse xenograft models of glioblastoma. Taspase 1 has been called a novel anti-cancer therapeutic target. Previous structures of Taspase 1 are inactive or partially truncated, missing part of the enzyme. The objective of this project was to determine the catalytically active full-length structure of Taspase 1. First, we used a new construct of Taspase 1, switching the position of the alpha and beta subunits. After purification, we proved that the enzyme is still highly active compared to the native protein. The most difficult part of the project was getting the protein to form a crystal lattice that would diffract and allow us to solve the structure by x-ray crystallography. We solved the structure to 3.0 angstrom in the A and B directions. However, we were limited by severe anisotropy where the resolution was limited to 5.8 angstrom in the C direction. This is likely because the previously truncated portion forms a long, flexible helical loop. Because of its proximity to the active site, high degree of flexibility, and loss of activity when truncated, one hypothesized role of this helical structure is for substrate recruitment. Our findings for the structure of Taspase 1 and identifying this flexible loop are highly important for rational drug design. To further improve the resolution of the structure, our efforts have included growing large crystals in microgravity at the International Space Station and by diffracting microcrystals at X-ray free electron laser sources in California and South Korea. Thank you and please pause for a complete poster overview.